Hello, my name is Anuma Prajita. Currently, I'm pursuing B.Tech in Biotechnology from uh, DTU. I plan to go for research ahead. Uh, my GRE score was 331, uh, 166 in Quant and 165 in Verbal. I took my Verbal courses from MJ and it began in December. We were provided with a book, a set of uh, questions from all different kinds of sources. The book had questions with increasing levels of difficulty. Uh, there were there were lots of deadlines, and the amount of work which was given was uh, very well thought out and planned, so as to make uh, learning more and more efficient. Hence, uh, uh, there was always this push, and uh, we didn't slack in easily and ca could could keep working hard. The classes are very interactive. The teachers are very approachable, they pay equal attention to every student and if ever you need any extra class, you can directly contact the representatives and the classes are arranged. You also keep in touch with the teachers through mails. So overall, it is a very efficient process which really helps you excel uh, in your preparations. Political writing and assessment was already a part of the verbal package I took from MJ. For vocab, I refer to a book called uh, Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis and I refer to a word list which had words compiled together uh, on the basis of similarity in meaning. Uh, I recommend that over the alphabetical word list because it's difficult to memorize words if we cannot form connections. And uh, of course, uh, during the verbal classes also we, we would encounter several new words and uh, that stuck in my mind. And uh, for quant, I took online tests uh, for 10 days uh, before the examination. Uh, the first advice I want to give uh, for anybody preparing for GRE is uh, have a fixed time interval within which you are going to prepare for it and uh, within which you will take the exam and just get done with it. Don't uh, keep waiting to uh, improve your vocab or uh, AWA. Don't keep waiting for it after you have prepared for, for a limited amount of time, just take the exam. Uh, for verbal, uh, you will get ample resources on the web. You must first of all have the official guide. You just need to practice regularly. Just set aside, uh, let us say, one or two hours uh, or uh, fix a number of questions you want to do every day for verbal, for quant. And for vocab, uh, do refer a list which has similar meaning words compiled, compiled together. The, uh, the lists which have 3000 words alphabetically arranged are totally of no use. And Word Power Made Easy is a really good book. You can try reading difficult texts, difficult texts which you generally find dull, philosophical texts, political texts. Uh, these are the kind of questions that uh, you know that you won't that you won't have a knack for in, in the examination and you will need practice for. So try making yourself accustomed to that, those kind of questions. And um, for AWA, just practice within the time time limit. Uh, don't bother about writing all the points that come in your mind for the topic. Rather, write a few points and then conclude the topic. That is more important within the time limit.